Greetings to the students in the New Testament Writings in Context course here at LaGrange College. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplin, greeting you from my home in St. Augustine, Florida. I lived for many years in Pine Mountain and actually served in a local congregation there in LaGrange. I love I know I love LaGrange. I love LaGrange College, and it is such an honor, even though I'm here now in Florida, to be able to serve serve you this uh, semester, all because of the magic of online learning. So I wanted to stop by this evening and kind of get you started in our class. I think you're aware that there's a difference in uh, in the starting date, and I'll explain that a little more here in a moment. First of all, the course description for our class, it's a study of the New Testament writings in the context of Greco-Roman civilization. The course asks students to reflect on the impact of Christian scriptures on Western civilization and consider their implications for the contemporary world, our world, your world. So our learning objectives, our learning outcomes for the class, first of all, students will demonstrate creativity as they observe and formulate responses to early Christian tradition. Number two, students will develop critical thinking about approaches to the earliest Christian tradition in its original context, first century. And then number three, students will develop communication skills in undergraduate research, writing, and discussion. Uh, Here's how we're going to get started this week, especially this weekend. First of all, when you log on to the your home page and connect, of course, that will lead you to your list of courses available online, as you know. There's a great uh, a great feature there then in the introduction called Connect System Modules. If you've not done a lot of work in Connect or with online courses here at LaGrange College, you will find that very helpful, along with a document called the LaGrange College Online Learning Tutorial. So those are all available in the introduction portion of our class. Then you will see a folder called Instructor's Announcements. Of course, that's where this video is appearing. But any announcement I have for you will be in in that folder. So at the beginning of every lesson, I will post a video announcement. And then the following week, I'll I'll post a follow-up written announcement. So you will want to go there and see communication from me. And of course, after that, you'll want to download the course syllabus. It's very detailed. It is our course, a contract, our learning contract with you. And, and so you will want to be aware of the details as we go forward. There's also a series of rubrics. Uh, I call them performance rubrics simply because they're a description of my specific expectations for assignments. And so I want to make sure you don't have any misunderstanding when it comes to those assignments. And then at the very bottom, there's another folder, a discussion forum really called a class water cooler. That's where I want you to introduce yourself. I've already started by just giving a brief introduction for myself. But jump in ASAP and introduce yourself and then greet the other students as they come on board. You will discover that we do a whole lot of work together collaboratively in this class. We really constitute a learning community. And so... As soon as we begin to connect with each other in a, you know, a more informal, personal kind of way, the more you will enjoy this learning experience. We have a brand new uh, textbook that we're introducing this semester from Luke Timothy Johnson, who is a professor up at Emory University, the writings on the New Testament. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's an excellent, very good, very recent uh, textbook. Frankly, it's also more readily available and a lot less expensive than the one we were using, and so I'm sensitive to that issue as well. I know you're going to enjoy working with this text. So the course structure is going to be very consistent and very, very simple. Uh, I've divided the course into seven lessons. Every lesson will have two weeks, and they will be consistent from lesson to lesson, two weeks per lesson. Uh, Week one will have a readings assignment, and then it will also have a reflection essay due, and I'll say more about that here in a moment. Week two will also have a readings assignment, and then we'll have a discussion forum where you will jump in and begin to interact with each other on a key idea for that lesson. Course assignments then are the text readings. Every week you will have a reading assignment. 
Starting in Lesson 3, they will include specific assignments in the New Testament. Uh, so also then the New Testament readings. There is a reading report. So it's just like a one-question, essentially a one-question quiz or survey asking you how much of the reading you were able to accomplish. So be sure to access that every week. Uh, and then there will be a series in week one of each lesson of reflection essays. Uh, it's a 500-word minimum reflection on a very specific question for the week. And again, I have made a rubric available to you so you can see what my expectations are. And then there will be a series of discussion forums always in week two of the lesson. The, the object is for you to post your initial response to a discussion question by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday and at least two replies to other students by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday. And I've also made a rubric available. I think you begin to see why I, in the syllabus, stated the course as beginning on the uh, 29th of January, even though the official first day of the spring semester is the 31st. I just wanted it to reflect the structure of the class so that you can see week by week how that's going to work uh, and uh, hopefully then give you a little bit of a nudge to get started uh, early if you can if at all possible then there are two exams they are going to be open book take home short uh, short answer essay exams and so they're really more a review opportunity, but a very good one, a very valuable one. And we'll have a midterm at the end of Lesson 4 and a final exam. It's actually, we'll cover through Lesson 7, but we'll come up in a Lesson 8. Then there's a research paper. I've given you a ton of details in the syllabus on the research paper, ideas, resources, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm going to be talking about it as we go along in this class. So I want you to feel comfortable with this assignment and ready to do just some great and important work. And once again, also a rubric is available for that assignment. So here we are at the beginning. I wanted to welcome you to a lesson one of our class and get you started in the first week coming up. A lesson one theme is simply the introduction to New Testament writings. And so we're going to start launching into readings in the uh, Johnson textbook and also do some writing and some discussing in Lesson 1. Uh, lesson 1, Week 1 then, and again, I gave you the January 31 date since it is, of course, the official first day of the spring semester. Uh, you will first of all read the introduction and Chapter 1 in the Johnson text. That's pages 1 to 37, and then you will reflect having read it you will reflect on this idea, reflect on the first century Greco-Roman context of the New Testament writings and how that might differ from our 21st century Western context. What stood out in your mind as an important element from the Greek Greco-Roman context and how might that affect your reading of the New Testament? We need to take some time here at the beginning to get ourselves back into that original context. Of course, we don't live there. We live here in the 21st century. So as we go, we want to make the connection as well. Notice similarities, notice uh, differences, you know, and learn, draw some valuable conclusions from that reflection. Then lesson two will be February 5 to 11. You will go on and read chapters two and three in the Johnson text. And then you will engage one another in a discussion forum. Here's the discussion prompt for the week. The books of the New Testament and the rise of Christian faith must also be seen in a first century Jewish context. So discuss the connections between the New Testament writings and ancient Judaism that stood out in your mind as you read. And how do you think those connections were relevant? How might that affect your reading of the New Testament? So once again, we are making a connection between our own context and that of the original context of the New Testament. So as we jump into an introduction of the New Testament, I just am confident that you will find this, you know, not just an academic exercise. I appreciate the fact that this is a core course. Everybody's required to take it. My hope, my, my prayer, my confidence is that this will be a source of personal encouragement for you. Maybe even a source of strength 
uh, that you might need as you are here in your journey as a college student. I know how stressful it can be at times, especially for those of you who are very busy as student athletes, etc. All of you are very busy. Some of you are non-traditional students. You have a full-time job. You have a family. So I hope that this course will be personally encouraging for you. It will be a growth opportunity as well as a necessary course. So please understand that I am always here available to you. I answer emails very, very quickly. If you feel the need to have a, a, a discussion, a text my phone number. It's available in the syllabus. We will set an appointment time for a, a telephone conversation. I'll always be here for you, committed to you and to your learning in this class. So God bless you, everybody. Just have a great beginning of our course.